Hey there, everybody. Welcome back to the Plat, or Platypus is the name. Legends of Keepers is the game today. We are going to continue on by fighting this champion. So let's see what's up. Let's see what they're bringing. It's been the same champion every time so far, but now we have a change. It looks like this guy might be the champion. Um, and he's level 8 with 445. 85 ice damage to the front row. Gains flame shield when he is attacked. Reflects 20% of damage taken as fire. Um, so every time he's attacked, he gets that more and more and more. I don't know if this is going to counter physical only. He deals 26 damage every time he kills a monster. So we want something... Oh my god, Bolster, this, this guy has, doesn't have a chance. Look at this, we get a lure into double bone catapult. We don't even need to, it's over. But anyway, let's take a look what the rest of the guys do. Replaces one of her pot penalties with a bonus. So you, you're, these are the hardest ones because we stack so much demoralized in the beginning of the fights. Um, the second a fight starts, she turns that into a bonus and it becomes really hard to kill and potentially overpowered and gets rid of that. But if they're solo, they're usually not too bad. You also hit the front for an insane amount of air damage. Uh, 39 nature damage to everybody. Randomly moves all monsters. Terrible for us. Um, so I'll put you in the back. Okay, you hit the front. You hit the front. You hit everybody. But you do ice and air. What is your ice and air resistance at? Ice 35, air minus 15. So you're super dead. Probably. It's kind of hard to say. Um, you're actually really fast, though, so you should be fine. We don't want you to end up in the... We don't care if you end up in the middle. But we really don't want you to end up in the front, so we should put you in the front. Because you have, you could blow up to kill yourself to make... Probably just end the fight and keep everyone else from losing morale. Um, and so you're in the front. You're in the middle because the middle is the safest, I guess. No, actually, the middle is not the safest. The back is the safest because no, none of them hit the back. I don't want you to die the most, though, actually. Cavill is definitely weaker than Umbreon, or your Morn. Sorry, when I say the name's wrong, I'm just, I'm fucking talking Pokemon, all right? I'll, I'll admit it. This is, I don't think they have a chance here. I honestly think they are just fucked. And honestly, and they start with slow. The ice area starting with slow is so powerful. So much better than the traps we get in other areas. Look at that. That is so insane. This person's gonna still be tough though. They did exactly what I wanted. I don't think there's any way you actually die here though. It's possible that you die before you can go, but even if you do, it's fine. And if you don't die, I think that's gonna benefit us all. You do tiredness three to everybody. Take that. He does 30% less damage. Everyone takes that, we can't stop it. Scream of terror. Oh, we knocked that over by yelling so loud. Oh, only 51 damage, you weak ass motherfucker. Ah, oh, what did she get as the bonus? Actually, that is really good for us, though. So, how much are you taking here? You're taking 45 morale in your next. You're currently sitting at a nice, comfy uh, 80, no, 144. This would do 50, this would do 66 on top of 45. So 111, not quite enough. This isn't even that much better, honestly. It does it to everybody, though. You're gonna die no matter what, guaranteed, right? Because you get hit, you die. The fact that you do 27 morale damage might actually make it close. We're we're not. Let's not risk it. It's fine. Plus, he's gonna hit everybody. Then this guy, when he kills this, it actually will do extra ice damage to the back row, too. Oh, he didn't kill it, though. Hmm. Sure, Blade Thirst him. He's got five bleed on him. The minus damage is actually dev. This guy is kind of weak. He's super tanky, but he's kind of weak. That's actually crazy. Yeah, Tired 3 is so much better. 
Look at this idiot. You're doing 70% less damage right now. And you're still getting through, I won't lie. You're, you're kicking my ass. But you're not going to have a chance to defeat our next group of monsters. I would love another will, another spirit, that I could just switch them in and out. Intimidation. Because, um... They have very, very low willpower, which is kind of like their thing. That's, you know. But I want to keep blowing them up. Doink. You die once your turn starts. But we could also fear the dead. So, again, surprisingly easy, honestly. I think we got a pretty good thing going here. Trap steal an additional 15% damage and morale. Yes. That is our fucking dream. These guys are all basically at full. Will got a little bit hurt. So, it only brings three people. So, let's make sure we bring you, you, and you, actually. Because you're the ones that just suffered. So, we're going to bring you to plunder. 100% one volunteer for three weeks. Mm, that's fine. But mostly, it uh, gives everyone plus two morale, which I think is going to be kind of nice. We don't really... I guess we do care about the money. 30% for an artifact. Just gold. I, I'll just take the plunder. And it's the guy we don't care about also, so fantastic. We did get a new... Um, guy. No, we didn't. What, what, what is that star coming from? Oh, oh, it's saying that you're back in good shape. Cool. Thank you. Um, no, we don't have that much time this time, unfortunately. Um, why didn't you get the option? Why did this guy get the option and not you? Were you here? Let's take a look again. We have Orc. Cool guy. Well, let's pull Will out. Let's put you in. See if you guys are the three that get the option, or if it is just random. It seems... I'm not 100% sure. Let's see Upgrade a trap, 100%. Okay. Alright, I thought I might be able to get to choose it. I clearly was incorrect. An opportunity to send some of your employees to intensive training course? No, we'll take the event. I don't know if there's a downside to that. All right, unfortunately, you have to heal, but we got a backup for you. Not as good, but it's a backup. Um, Will's actually totally fine. You could actually die in the next two fights. We don't care. I uh, mean, we care, but we also kind of expect that from you. Um, we like having a nice tanky guy up front, but we can still try to do our, our normal tank thing here, here, and here. Um, you don't need any rest. You don't need any rest, and Doggo could use it, so who cares? Well, you don't need any rest. We'll try to set some guys in the final area, like maybe this guy, um, just to slowly increase their thing while we tank the hits with our heavy hitters. Uh, but these guys could all use a little rest here. Well, we leveled you up specifically so you could tank things. You have 50% armor, 50% air, 135. You're just not up the snuff. You're, you're like when we're starting to run out of junk, I think. Ooh, engineer, though. Okay. Let us go. Trap. The, the last trap being here is so brutal. But the thing is, the lure is still really good. Ignore the first attack suffered. Okay. Applies broken armor when attacking. Okay, what do you attack though? You attack the front. We'll, we'll take a look here. None of them avoid traps, right? Can't be affected by penalties dealing damage or morale over time. You're going to be really fucking tough. Holy shit. But the other two are pretty darn weak. Alright, so you, you attack the front. You attack the front and applies poison to the monster with the highest life at the start of each fight. 
I wonder if the skill and the passive stack where you also apply the broken armor, I'm not sure. Um, but you do nature damage to the front, you do physical damage to the front. You actually have no physical. And you also do damage to the front. Well, the front line's getting hit with... Uh, fire, nature, and physical. Does anyone have resistances to fire, nature, and physical? Okay, which does the most? You do 75 damage. You do 95, you do 85. So a highest nature resistance would be good. You're at 60%. You're at negative 25. Okay, so we'll put you up front. Will, am I spilling water on myself? I am, I'm sorry. Will, I think you're gonna blow up here. I think you're gonna need to do that. This guy's immune to the demoralize though, but we're trying to get these two dead ASAP. You only do fire damage to the front. Which is actually bad for our second group of monsters, but it's okay. We'll save you for the third, I think. Well, whoever has the lowest ice resistance is going to get hit also for 30. So you'll actually get hit for a little bit as well. But then, if we put you in the back, actually, you should... Nothing hits the back row. So you should be able to get an additional morale damage off before getting hit. Um... Everything hits the front. These guys will hopefully be gone. Uh, no, not you. I'm sorry. I, I changed my mind. If these guys are gone, then the fire damage, we want you to absorb it because you're the only one that doesn't... We're going to get hit with ice first, too. But you should be able to survive. The ice does 30, which will actually do 40-something, 50-something, uh, bringing you down to like 50, 60. And then you have a 50% resistance to the fire. So you should be fine after that. At that, we'll bring you here and you here. No, again, nothing hits the middle or the back. All three hit the front. So is, we want to put tankiest and then the least tankiest in the back, or most vital in the back, I suppose. And then we don't know how they're gonna do. Let's go ahead and put these guys like this, and then we'll hit them with a lure. I know we're doing it in a reverse order, but our goal is to have them dead before they hit here. If the traps, like, if they, if we ever have a trap before another monster fight, then I feel like it's really useful. They're at 7, 25 speed, 115 and 85. Okay, that did not apply the, um, armor debuff, which is great. Tiredness 2. Are you immune to that? Ignores the first attack, okay. We want to get this guy dead ASAP. And everyone we get dead is just a huge damage, you know, off our backs. He's really bad against fire, but there's... Oh, but he survived! He gets the tank the other hit. Good job. Obviously not ideal to have characters die, but the characters are gonna die. The heroes are stronger than your characters. You have to use all of the, uh... I actually think you're fine. If you scare this guy away, you're gonna... You're at 60. You're gonna get hit by to death, and then you're gonna get hit for 86 nature, which will kill you as well. Okay. It actually, it, you actually aren't fine. So we actually, sh he's gonna die already. So I think we have to do that because you die in one hit. Got him. You're going blade thrust. Get the bleed damage. If our uh, snake was available, that would have been really nice for this fight. It was our snake available? I don't think so. This is exactly what we wanted. You are going to get hit with ice, but you will survive at least one attack. Hypothermia. This guy does mostly, he does morale damage, but he actually, being immune to our um, build is still kind of tough. Yeah, we want to slow them down. They're immune to frostbite?
Does Frostbite count as dealing damage? Oh, it does. Frostbite does deal damage over time. I was getting it confused with um one step from Eden, where it does not do that. So they are going to get through this, but they are nice and slow at least. Right. Going to get through and actually hit this guy. And it does full damage to the back guy too. It's pretty brutal. I might as well just hit this guy for ice damage. There's no difference. And this is going to kill them both. Unfortunate. Being immune to our demoralized is so brutal. Let's hope the final bosses or whatever we're going to have to fight. Final heroes aren't going to be. Dude, like we care. Come on. We actually can't do any morale damage with this team. Because she's immune to our demoralized, which is a goddamn nightmare. Well, we might just be able to kill her, though. We do get to stack that twice as fast as we would normally. Right? Oh, maybe not. They're just immune to fucking everything, man. We're doing it. Thank God that this guy is so resistant to fire. I can't, so I guess we can increase the stack of either of these. I guess these don't count as penalties. This is the first person I, I mean, maybe not the first I've killed, but it's up there. I don't kill very many. And 106 morale is just nuts. Right, we'll take it. I was hoping, really hoping for money, honestly. All right, we're gonna go to the engineer. Well, engineer twice in a row, though. But there's also a trainer coming up. I want the engineer. Multi-action two. Plus one, wait. Applies multi-action two to the next trap. Plus one trigger per stack. Holy shit. I don't know if we could lose. I think that's too powerful. I think we start leveling up another bone catapult though. Or nothing? I guess we do in case our first one breaks. Okay, let's take a look here at our characters. We're gonna put everyone with no morale or with our low level of morale here. And then we'll hopefully it'll get three of them. I don't know how this affects it. It seems semi-random, but it see, okay. It takes two from your garrison and then one, sorry, two from your rooms. Let's take a look where these guys are at. It took two from my first room, which it seems to have been doing. And then one from my garrison, the first one of my garrison. So maybe it takes these two and this one. Cause there definitely seems to be a pattern there. All right, hopefully this guy gets pushed. That's not good. That's pretty bad, actually. Plus one level. Hey, that's pretty good. The events don't seem to be negative. So you hit, you got a level, so that's pretty good. What are we gonna do here? We want you to be in the final room. We can't have you, you or you. You guys are all dead. Okay, well, let's focus on what we can do. We could put you up here because you're good at that. We could put another tanky here and doggo up here too. Uh, we can actually put you up here too. I kind of like that. Can we rename you? Um, we can apparently. Cool. Well, that's nozzle now. You tend to be better a little bit later. And we could just. I kind of want to just. And throw this meat shield up there because we don't really care about you. You you use you for the morale damage, not as a tank, and use you to slow down the damage. Um, this isn't going to be our strongest fight because a lot of these guys are weak. I would really like to keep most of these guys back here. I mean, look, we could throw this guy out. We don't care. We could throw this guy out. We don't care. Um, but everyone else, I really want to just get their morale back. We'll take the ice. This is the first one I haven't taken the far most right one. I don't think, uh, but the ice. Let's just apply slow. Mm. 
and applying slow is dope. The traps are just not on our side these days. You attack the front, the front, and area with nature. Nature, 100 nature damage to the front. Unfortunately, that means we are going to have to use you as a tank, I think. And physical damage. I mean, you do have good... This guy has great HP, but if it's not fire, he's not that good. So we are going to end up using you, and you're definitely going to die. Damage dealt to monsters who have not taken any damage increased by 50%. Jesus. That's actually... Does that sound terrible with the uh, poison? I mean, he's at 115 speed, so he is going to hit that guy. Maybe just straight up assassinate him. Damn. Well, nothing. everything hits the front, front, and then area, so we don't really care. We'll put... Uh, fuck it. We'll put you there. You're not going to do shit. This this first team turned out to be terrible against this. This guy is does fucking damage. We are going to lure. Confirm. I think we're going to skip this room. And then we're going to use this room. We're going to use the things we don't care about. Did we just... Hmm. This is risky. I think this trap and our hero can kill it. Can kill them. We're going to try it. You know what? Big balls. The lure, I think with one room of monsters and the lure, we got this. I was not paying attention to that. Luckily, the guy in the front, who gives a shit? Ouch. Hey, good job on you, though. Get their morale. 55 is still a lot. This is our only group of monsters, so I think we're actually fine. All these guys getting hurt, though, does kind of suck. Except mostly this guy. But he is, as you can see, he's pretty darn tanky comparatively to these other losers. The morale monsters are pretty darn weak, though. Only 47 damage. This guy will kill him. Oh my god. You're a monster. I mean, he is a monster. He's a, he's a giant orc, but you know what I mean. None of these matter at all. Damage taken by traps increased 100%. Never mind, that sounds pretty cool. Only on the front guy, though. I don't know if it'll count as morale damage. We'll take a look. We'll see how much each take. No, they all took 65. They won. Now you can tell the game's like, what? <laughs> Look, at they're already all almost dead. So I don't think we had to put anyone at risk. We don't even need the third trigger. Jesus. Jesus. A Yeti, which I do use. He's, only, he's level three. But I, I might... Honestly, we'll take a backup Yeti. The money is really good, but... Let's do the engineer one more time. This is just in case this gets broken, I think, right? Take the event. So this is exactly why. Uh, seems to be very proud of it. He wants to secretly sell it for a few gold coins. If you refuse, there's a chance he might take it very badly. Refuse. I don't want to buy that. Champion. I don't think it's the end, though. He's asking you to provide him with one of your employees. Exchange for some gold. Sorry, Goblin. You're out. Should have taken that uh, plunder while I had the chance. Each hero has a 30% chance to be affected by Demoralized 3 at the start of a dungeon. That's uh, basically exactly what we want. I actually kind of want... This is the champion. We can break, pull out all the stops here. It means Will. Will is all the stops. And this guy.
let's um actually like we'll put them in room one but we don't need to put them until the final room if we think we could beat them with just one group of monsters because of our traps we can kind of make that decision on the fly so let's add you 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 i mean you guys are all basically at full and then for the final room i want to have this guy will Umbreon, just like insane morale damage. Um, and we'll see if we even need it. We might not use all these rooms. This might be a whole new strategy to uh, come up with because of our traps. Trap one, trap two, this. So let's see what they got. Can it be affected by demoralized? That's going to be brutal. Dodges the effects of the first trap. Doesn't matter because it's lure. The, the attack applies stunned one. So you can't be affected by demoralized, which is disgustingly bad. But you could be the only character that does 95 air damage to the front. So I think we still do the lure. Boom. Confirm. I think we skip. I think we skip. I know this seems crazy, but I think our bone catapult, even though it doesn't do demoralized on this guy, it does on these guys. And if we can get th these guys to run just from our traps and this stuff, I think in this final room, we put you, well, let's take a look here. You're um, gonna do air damage. Who's got the highest air resistance? 15, 25, 60% air resistance. You actually have a job as a tank right now, potentially. But you only have 90 HP as opposed to 170. Even at 60% resistance, I don't think you can take two hits. Plus, we don't care about this dork dying. Okay, and we want... Um, let's do it in this order. We want you. You're the most important, and Will will be the second most important. I think we could do this. This is a this is a big brain play. He gets do he dodges it. We know. I like the, these guys, the collectors, just vampires, I guess. The guy in the back, I think, is definitely screwed. And then we get fifty percent more damage from traps as well. Like that, they already already probably have killed six monsters. I think we could do it with one room. Okay, I'm nervous that I'm gonna get my butt kicked here. 12 stacks. Look how much they're taking. It's ridiculous. No, they're they're toast. Look at this. Our traps are too good for the champion. Scare him. Jesus. That is insane. I think we need a harder difficulty. Or this is just busted. Mouth shutter. Silence five. Heroes can't use skills. And they can attack, but their skills don't get used, I suppose. 21 air damage. One, you have 130 HP. 40% nature and ice. 8 morale. 105 power. Uh, in an area of effect, do 32 nature damage and applies demoralize 2. 21 air damage and an area effect as well. And minus 1 morale. Damage dealt increased. This person gains immunity 1 at the start of the dungeon. Wow, you're really good. We want you in the backup. Yeah. That was brutal. So, okay, let's take... You're level five already, you're level five already, you're level three, you're level five. Who else do we, who else do we maybe want to level up? We maybe want to level up you. It's um, plus 10 armor. 15 fire is not irrelevant. I don't know how good it is. 
Extra power, extra... I feel like you already are so powerful. We just don't care. You're getting just way tankier and everything. Seems good. And your weaknesses get slightly better. Yeah. You're good already. I don't think you need the extra 20 HP. You're already better than most of the shit we got. Um, 21 ice and minus 10 morale. It gets... Better. You you might be able to live a hit. 20 HP is quite a bit for you. This guy is 60. They're terrible. I just feel like you're so strong already. I don't really care that much. The doggo doesn't really get better. And his attack kind of sucks for what we're doing. It does a little bit more damage. Not, re not significant, I guess. But whatever. There's not that much we actually feel like leveling up. Let's take the event. I don't I don't I don't want that. I don't want that. When their motivation is full. Honestly a lot is, but we're not doing that much full motivation stuff most of the time. But maybe we'll be able to. Maybe we can only take full motivation things and uh, farm. 15% is good. We'll take it. That means we have all the artifacts we can get. But you know what that means? It's time for us to end yet another episode. Guys, thank you so much for hanging out. I hope you're enjoying the series. I think we're getting near the end. I think it's only 52 weeks, right? Um, and then, so next episode might be the final one. We'll have to take a peek, at least of this run. Um... And, uh, yeah, I guess of this, you know, season or something like that. But, anyway, friends, thank you so much for watching. Hope to see you next time. The Perplatypus is Perplatypus. Bye.